for a number of reasons. Uh, unlike some people I know that have recently decided to vote yes, I've been uh, a yes supporter all my life. And it's perhaps because of my experience uh, uh, growing up in Aberdeen in the 60s and 70s that has led me to, to, to this uh, support. Uh, in the 60s, uh, Aberdeen uh, was reliant on fisheries, agriculture, uh, the granite industry. But uh, with the discovery of North Sea oil, the city was transformed and is now the oil capital of uh, Europe. And it made me realise how important it was uh, for, for Scots to have uh, control of uh, their own resources, to be able to manage them and safeguard them for future generations. Leith uh, is a really vibrant place to live. Uh, it is quite cosmopolitan and uh, I think it's really important that we safeguard that. I've got a friend uh, coming from Paris uh, who also lived in Aberdeen and uh, Scots have benefited over the last 20 years of being able to work and uh, to live uh, in other countries in Europe. And likewise, people from Europe have come here to live and work. And that's really added to the mix of uh, Leith, making it uh, quite exciting with musicians, artists, people working in the creative industry. And all that is at risk if uh, we have a no vote. And uh, we have uh, Westminster, UKIP, a Conservative coalition dragging Scotland out of the European Union. I don't have a, a big hope uh, as such. It's more, I think independence is more a journey than a fait accompli. And it's that journey that I'm looking forward to. Uh, the opportunity to have a dialogue, to discuss with people in Scotland what their vision of the future should be and how we achieve that and take small steps towards achieving that vision. I think it's that process. Uh, there may be a few stumbles, a rocky road on the way, but I think it's going to be really exciting and something I really want to be involved in.